Nation of Fit and Ten, it is day eight. We are officially into the second week of the challenge. And if you have not, or if you are not, tackling your food, okay? What I mean by tackling your food is, you know, really trying to, you know, play the Fit and Ten challenge, right? Trying to do what I've asked you to do with your food. That is to measure it out, okay, as a starting point, as a starting point, look in your manual. Okay, do I have a manual here? No, of course I don't have a manual here because I mean to do that. I don't know where actually the manual went. I blame it on my cleaning lady. Anyways, look in your manual. There is a non-exhaustive list of different fats, carbohydrates, and proteins. Start there as a place for you to be like, okay, I got to get a serving of protein. Okay, we got to get a serving of starch and perhaps a serving of fat. And I say perhaps because if you're eating a protein that's high in fat or a carbohydrate that's higher in fat then um then you don't need to add, add fat to that meal okay but maybe you're eating like a you know a, a lean protein and you're eating a a lean uh, form of uh carbohydrate you could add some fat to that meal okay try to get that in every meal carbohydrates some fat and some protein okay but you've got to start you just got to start okay i've talked to i know a few people so far in the challenge i got people sending me their journals which is great I got some people that are like, nah, I don't know. It's like, it's really hard and stuff. And nah. okay, you just, let's jump in the pool and let's swim. Let's not just dip our toes in. Okay. We got to immerse ourselves in this. All right. Uh, I'm going to send your numbers tomorrow. Your numbers for your diet will be the same. So don't freak out about that. We're only on day eight here. Okay. We don't need to keep changing the numbers every, you know, virtually weekly. Okay. We don't, I don't typically do that. Um, I'll talk about you know, more of this in the future. Just follow those numbers. Be consistent, as consistent as you can be. And um, also in that email that you get, I might send it tonight, by the way, either tonight or tomorrow morning. Uh, in that email, yeah, there's going to be a link for you to send me your feedback. This is part of your accountability. Send me your feedback. It takes you like all of two minutes to do. Just do it. Put some effort into it. I know I've seen some people, I can tell they don't put effort into it. This is not for me, this is for you. Okay, I wanna help you, but you know what? You have to do the work. There's no free ride, okay? If you think there's a free ride in life, the chances are you're wrong. You're just, it's not, it's not the case, okay? Especially when it comes to managing your weight, you gotta put the work in, okay? All right, uh, questions here. Let's talk about some questions that were asked to me. Sweet potato, do we measure cooked or raw? Do we measure cooked or raw? Okay, you can measure it either way. Okay, obviously it's gonna be more accurate if it's raw because it hasn't been cooked. And if you cook it, you know, it's gonna lose moisture. The question is how much mo moisture does it lose? Well, that depends on how much you cook it. So it really, really depends. So here's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna suggest that you do. If you cook it, try to find an entry in MyFitnessPal where that entry reflects the way that you cooked it. So if you baked a sweet potato, look for baked sweet potato. Okay, if you fried it, look for fried baked potato, etc. Okay. Um, we just have to make sure that the entry, you know, as closely as possible, reflects the reality. That's what we're trying to look for here. Okay. So do not put raw sweet potato in as an entry if you're measuring it cooked. That's not accurate, right? So keep this in mind, right? It, this makes a difference. If you don't already know, my apologies if you do. If you don't already know, right? If you cook something like a sweet potato, it's going to lose moisture. And the more you cook it, the more, more, the more moisture it loses. So it's going down in weight, but it, the calories and the amount of carbohydrates are staying the same, okay? So essentially per weight, it's getting more and more calorie or carbohydrate dense, okay? So, you know, we've got to pay attention to this. All right, fruit. Is fruit uh, sugar? Why are we having fruit if it's sugar? Okay, listen, all putting fiber aside, basically all fruit is, uh, sorry, all fruit, all carbohydrates are sugar, okay? A starch is just a chain of sugars, okay? It's just what we call a polysaccharide. When we're looking at fruits, it's, we're already dealing with broken down, essentially starch. And that's what happens to a banana when it ripens, for instance, okay? It's actually going from a resistant starch to a, um, to, uh, to more of a sugar, okay? So it's, that's just part of the ripening process. So the question is really is what quality of food are we getting? 
Okay, so if you eat a starch, it's gonna break down to sugar regardless. It just takes some time, and this obviously makes a difference. I talked about glycemic index yesterday, the rate at which the sugar goes into the bloodstream, the rate at which your blood sugar level rises after consuming a particular food. And um, as soon as we add in, like I mentioned yesterday, as soon as we add in fiber and or fat and or protein, we change that glycemic index, okay? All of those things will lower the, the glycemic index. This is another reason why I want you to mix your foods, okay? Don't just eat something on its own. But also when we're talking about a fruit here, we're talking about some nutrition. You can't compare, you know, a, a large banana and a can of Coke, which have, you know, close to the same amount of sugar. Well, it'd have to be a very large banana, okay? Let's say, let's say, a large banana and three quarters can of Coke. You cannot, we well can, but it's not accurate. Those are two different things. You're getting nutri you're getting a lot more nutrition in one than you are the other one. And in the can of Coke, it's mainly glucose fructose, which is really not a form of carbohydrate um, that you wanna get, okay? So don't think of it as fruit or don't, don't think of it as sugar or not, just think of it as carbohydrate, all right? The other thing we wanna think about is glycemic load. Okay, which is, I'll just touch upon this and then, you know, we'll talk about it more in the future. Glycemic load, we want, it, we want to look at the total amount of sugar that we're getting. Okay, so this really makes a difference because there's a big difference between having 10 grams of sugar and having 200 grams of sugar, right? It's not the same thing, right? The, the total load is much higher with 200 grams of the same kind of sugar versus say 10 grams. So we wanna look at total gl uh, glucose load. So if we're getting a little bit of glucose load every couple hours, that's fine. Doesn't really matter what source we're getting, okay? Again, just focus on real whole food sources, all right? And again, protein and or fat and or fiber, all these things lower the glycemic index of the food. Make foods that are sugar, say like a fruit, less like a sugar, okay? It acts less like a sugar. Okay. Let's get the message of the day. Um, uh, computer's frozen. No, it's not. It's just very slow. All right. Message of the day. Come on. I don't have my list open here. Okay, my apologies, you guys, because I know this happens a little bit too frequently, right? Okay. One sec. Come on, spreadsheet. I don't even know why it's closed. It shouldn't be closed. All right. So day eight message of the day. Oh, this is one of my favorites. It's cheesy, but whatever. You can repeat this to yourself. There's nothing wrong with it. We're all human. I'm amazing. I can do anything. Positivity is a choice. I celebrate my individuality and I'm prepared to succeed. Okay. This point on individuality, by the way, is very important. You should embrace who you are. The world would be super boring if everybody was the same. Okay. So, you know, we need every kind of person really in this world. Okay. Well, maybe not every kind of person, but you understand what I'm saying. We need some variety. We need, we have all kinds of roles that need to be fulfilled. Okay. We need all kinds of different people. Okay. So I want to repeat this to you again, and hopefully you'll repeat this to yourself. I am amazing. I can do anything. Positivity is a choice. I celebrate my individuality, and I am prepared to succeed. One more time. I am amazing. I'm going to say this. I'm going to, I'm going to go this way. You are amazing. You can do anything. Positivity is a choice. Celebrate your individuality, and I hope you are prepared to succeed because you can succeed at any point. It's just a choice. All right. Positive energy, positive vibes, believe in yourself for love of God, give some gratitude, and I'll talk to you all very soon. See you guys.